In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a membership site using Builderall and also how to set up and restricted access to this site. My name is Agnieszka and this channel is all about affiliate marketing and creating your profitable online business. So if you're interested in these subjects, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications. The video is coming right up. Okay, so first of all, the good news is that creating a membership site using Builderall is very easy because you have quite a big selection of templates that you can just use and adjust to your needs. And also setting up the restricted area is not a problem. And I will show you that on my computer right now. Okay, so we're inside of my Builderall account. And in order to create the membership site, we're gonna use the Pixel Perfect Builder. So we're gonna enter now and find a suitable template for our membership site. So we're gonna go create new site with website. And here, as you can see, you have a different, uh, a lot of different categories for um, sites, landing pages. So we're going to go and focus on the membership area. And here you have quite a few templates to use. I will use this one. You can always preview every template to see if it's something that meets your expectations. So it's the, the start page and you can scroll it down. So it looks like this. So I think it's quite okay. And we're going to use it for the purpose of this video. So we're going to go and edit it. So this is our basic start site for the membership site. And as everything uh, in Builderall, everything is editable. You can change the fonts. Uh, you can just drag and drop things like that and you can easily input your logo type here so it is really everything uh, easy to adjust. Here we are going to go and see the structure of our membership site. So as you can see we have for now the start site for the membership site and module one. So let's just create three modules for the purpose of this video and you can do it very easily because if you go to module one then you will see the template for the module one and you can just duplicate this um, two times and have three modules. So this is our uh, template for a module because usually for the membership site you would have some uh, video tutorials so you can easily input videos here either from YouTube or from Vimeo and uh, now we're going to start from cloning the, the sites so you go just click here and select duplicate and we will now change the name of it so it is all looking the same and we're gonna clone this one as well we're gonna have three modules Okay, so we have our three modules ready. Now we have to adjust the menu because we have a menu that um, includes four modules and also we have to connect our pages to the menu. So what we're gonna do is uh, edit menu. So we right click on the menu and just go edit menu items. So as you can see, this is the structure of our mm, module menu. So you can have uh, different lessons for each module or you can just have one video for each module and then you would get rid of these lessons. So this is what we're going to do here. Well, I'm going to go get rid of the whole module 4 because we're not going to have it and now we're going to get rid of the lessons. Okay, so we have already three modules so we can uh, click confirm and now we're just going to connect it with our pages. So we go click edit the menu items again and now we're going to select edit module 
and here we can select the page to which it should be leading and we can open it in new tab and press ok and save. Now we're going to do the same for module 2. Select site module 2, open in new tab and ok. So we have our um, modules created. Uh, we have connected it to our uh, menu. So now it's basically uh, all about inputting the video. So and the default one is from YouTube, but you can easily change it because if you want to just change the YouTube uh, URL, then you will just input it here. But you can also get rid of this video. And if you want to use Vimeo, then you can just uh, find audio and video here. And as you can see, you can choose uh, different ones. So you can input Vimeo here. You can, of course, adjust the, um, the size of it and it works exactly the same. You just input the, the, the link to your video. So you go press configure and input your video URL. Okay, so now I will show you how to restrict the access. So for example, only people who pay because you would probably want to sell your membership site and then only people who pay get access to it. Or you can just give access to people uh, who you choose. But I will show you how to create it. This is very easy. You just go here and you press on this lock. So you have to uh, input a name for your restricted area. So just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go and say restricted. And then you allow users to sign up and access via email and password then uh, restricted area information. You have different choices. So if you were to sell this uh, as a course, you would choose manual payment, but you have also other uh, possibilities. So let's go next. You can uh, say to which email list to go to. And if you've already set up your sales funnel, then you would connect the checkout here. We haven't done it yet. So uh, I'm going to show it in the another video how to do it. We're just going to go back and set our page that uh, will be the initial page after the login and we can go and select home, click OK and save it. OK, so I hope you found that video helpful. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'm always happy to answer. The link to the seven day free trial is down in the description box and see you in the next video.